Hi folks, I'm glad you're all here. Thank you very much for joining me. There was a magnitude 5.0 earthquake there in northern Alaska near the Denali fault zone. This is a right lateral fault zone, meaning, uh, yeah, it moves to the right. Thank you very much for joining me. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Please like, share, and subscribe. 656 people said they felt this earthquake. Uh, they gave it an intensity level of 5, which means it was felt by most people. There would have been some breakage. What kind of damage did you have? Windows, plaster, disturbance of tall objects. Did you have things fall out of your cupboards or off shelves? Or maybe uh, tossed off the walls? Let me know. This was a thrust fold earthquake. You can see how it moved here. And here is the felt reports all the way up to Fairbanks. Let's see, all the way down here by the peninsula. I don't have good news for you guys. There is a lot of pressure that has built up in that area. And because of the uh, pressure, there's uplift. Probably close to five feet of uplift along some of these rivers. You can see I got the Park Road Fault drawn out. We got the Peters Dome Fault also drawn out. That's to the uh, northwest. Um, and we also got Cantetian Hills. Now I got two rivers drawn out. Let me see. Okay, we got the McKinley River that goes all the way down through here. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can get an idea of that area relative to the earthquakes and the other one where is it oh there it is nanana river that one goes all the way up through here now there's a lot of faults that i do not have drawn out but i did find a paper from 2012 talking about all the uplift that is going on because of the compression so one day it's just going to pop. Maybe have a large earthquake like the Denali earthquake that occurred in 2002. Now that was a magnitude 7.9 and you might be surprised that it created buoys to go off. As far as Texas and New Orleans, houseboats were damaged when they were um, shaken from their moorings. Yeah, these sieges were as far away as Texas, New Orleans, Louisiana. I was rather shocked to read about that. So the same thing, I mean, that's not very far. Um, the 2002 7.9 from where uh, these earthquakes have been happening today. When the 2002 7.9 earthquake occurred, um, it helped to discover some of the faults that they didn't even know about. But they noticed that there was uplift being created in this area, which means eventually, yep, a large earthquake's going to happen. The Cantetian Hills Aculine provides a textbook geomorphic example of active folding. And then it goes on to say the north flank, flank of the rapidly rising Denali Massif. A persistent cluster of small earthquakes, the northern Cantetian, or Cantetia seismic cluster occurs beneath the Cantetia Hills aculine, providing further evidence for active deformation. Getting all tongue-tied here. I'll give you a link to this paper. This is very concerning. So this is what I think is going on. We got pressure. Um, Denali fault is locked and loaded. And holding all this buildup that's going along here um, within this fault zone. And kind of like Hawaii. Where they got an area there that holds um, the hill, the slump, from falling down. So I think somewhere in this location, it's locked and ready to go. And when it does go, they're going to have some major ruptures along these different fault zones. We got the 
Peter Dome Fault. We got the Park Road Fault. And of course, the Denali Fault. And all that uplift is just going to go whoop. Come down going towards the south. Um, yeah, you're going to have a major earthquake there. I don't know when, but that's what I'm thinking. So the 2002 was almost a magnitude 8 earthquake. Can you imagine a magnitude 8 or larger earthquake? And that's not far from Fairbanks. Right up over here to the top. Right there. In my freshman year of high school, um, a friend of mine, her and her family moved there. Her father got a job as being a firefighter, I believe it was. So I don't know if she still lives up there. I want to give a shout out to Sherry Evans. Yeah, her family moved there. If you know Sherry Evans, let me know. But they were living in Fairbanks. Now this would have been 1970 from what I remember. 19, well, 1969, 1970. I graduated from high school in 73 and it was at the end of the freshman year that they moved. So, you know, I think about the Good Friday earthquake that they had there in Alaska and the tsunami and, and the roads, how they uplifted. It was just so tremendous. Yeah, that was in 1964. Yeah, look how part of the ground dropped and the other part rose up. You can see the cars here. There's an image of the tsunami that it sent out. So if that 2002 sent out what they call cinches, where yeah, they had waves nowhere close to the ocean, can you imagine if they have another large one in this area along the Denali uh, fault zone? Yeah, pray that it doesn't happen and pray that you are prepared if it does happen. So we have five earthquakes within the last 24 hours. Uh, the most recent was a magnitude 1.6, uh, Denali National Park, um, a 1.5, they just list that as Central Alaska, a 1.6, um, Petersville, Alaska, and then the initial 5.0. Did you feel any of these earthquakes and what kind of damage did you have? Are you earthquake prepared? Boy, I hope so. Put your thoughts and comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please stay safe and I will talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.